Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension. And today my gift to you is uh, this guided meditation in how we condition our future in a positive way. The timeline, so to say. And also we will be conditioning our past in a positive way. And we will also condition our male and female side in a positive way. But the main focus is here to condition our future in a positive way. So, uh, uh, just to introduce you to the concept of a timeline, this idea came to me through NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, and I'm in no way associated with this group, but um, you know, um, I thought their teaching make a lot of sense. They're basically yogic visualizations in a modern style. And uh, there um, you have this concept of timeline. Uh, so when you imagine your past, your past events, like one slice at a time, let's say every time in the morning when you brush your teeth, it's a slice, and if you kind of visualize this, you will see like slides like going you know into a tunnel let's say to the left and some people may visualize this as a tunnel going to the back you know and then this when you would visualize yourself um, brushing your teeth in the future you would you know see those daily slides uh, in a tunnel to the right or in some people in a tunnel to the front just stacking up so, uh, and of course, the present time is generally, you know, right <laughs> here in front of you. Or you should be kind of right there in the center, hmm? not in front of you. So, um, so, you know, there's two types of visualization of the timeline. So from left, the past, to the right. Uh, or from uh, the past in the back to the front. So we will be doing both, <laughs> because also, um, you know, the right side, you know, is the considered the male side, and the left side is considered the female side. And of course, what is in front of us, it's considered the conscious aspect of ourselves, and what is behind us is considered the also subconscious aspects of ourselves. So uh, the love will be sent in all the directions, so we will cover all the bases. <coughs> so uh, now just uh, close your eyes and <laughs> uh, you know, do not uh, operate any heavy machinery or drive heavy equipment. Uh, you know, or drive a car. Um, you know, this is not appropriate uh, for you. Uh, you probably, you more, very likely have an accident. You know, if this is a podcast, you know, listen to something else. Um, so, um, just you know, sit yourself in a very comfortable position, stacking your spine, so you don't have to, you know use any muscles to keep it up or if you have back problems just sit in a nice comfortable chair office chairs are generally very good if you adjust them right mm -hmm. but you can also just do the Sufi grind which is just kind of sway back and forth left and right it's like a undulation uh, I really like that it's a very flexible way, and uh, yeah, flexible in all aspects. Hmm. And we are, and happens in and from this meditation here is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony, with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. And we asked for the presence of organic source of the supreme, absolute supreme being, nobody, nothing beyond it. And of course our own organic highest self. And with organic I mean no overlays of the matrix, no overlays, you know, electronically or in any other way. 
that we may not even fathom. Mm -hmm. We also connect, yes, to the organic Milky Way galaxy, the sun, the earth, all a representation of the absolute. Just step down mm -hmm, to us and the elements and the directions here and all the beings that still love us unconditionally. Thank you for coming. Amen. And smile like an idiot, you're in the presence of greatness. And we ask that we get right to the point of our issues, using our time and energy in the most effective way, and still have lots of fun, and are completely safe. Amen, amen, amen. And now, um, just uh, imagine that you shapeshift your spine and your legs into roots that connect with your Earth Mother. That is just a visualization. You can also just reach out energetically. That is up to you. But in the beginning, you know, roots are good. And imagine that those roots are kind of like straws. And on the inhale, you let the love of the Earth Mother rise in you all the way up to the heart. And maybe flush over that and go even all the way to the top. And then on the exhale, you know, you send your love with your breath through those roots into her. And you exhale all the way, squeezing your tummy all the way so no more air goes out and then you really really you know pull her love into you as much as you can till no more love fits in there you should be looking like a puffer fish by now and then with a smile you send your love back down and you keep going back and forth with her. And we asked our highest spirit guides to clear from us any blocks that we have towards grounding, towards being properly connected with your earth. Maybe in the past we uh, did vows, you know, I had the idea that the earth life is bad. It's an ocean of suffering that is it's just all carnal and you know this is kind of a punishment of God and we have to get away from here. I mean I completely understand where we're coming from so I have been there myself <laughs> and I'm still not convinced that this is the best place here <laughs> right now. So but still let's just uh, clear all those blocks that we have and all those vows and curses and preconception towards the earth energy so we get properly connected with your earth to dear high self and spirit guides. Just clear this all these blocks and curses now. Amen, 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 amen. And now put your tongue to the palate and push on the exhale that love from Mother Earth into the brain. And smile like an idiot. And then try to get to the ceiling. So up to six feet or two meters. And we asked our highest spirit guides to clear any blocks and resistances in the crown chakra and to line them up now perfectly. Amen, 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 amen. And still keep breathing into the crown chakra. You probably feel a little woozy right now. I'll get the space down. That's part of the clearing. 
Just smile like you need it and just push that loving chi, that loving energy from Mother Earth into the heavens. And now we are beings from the heavens that love you unconditionally to send their love to you, rain it through the crown chakras into your being. And on the inhale start, you know, drawing their love into your heart. And on the exhale, you send your love to them. And now on the inhale, you not only draw in the love from the heavens, but you also draw in the love from the Mother Earth into your heart. And on the exhale, Jesus expands in you. Keep smiling like an idiot. And now, you know, after taking the love in from heaven and earth, you will send this to the front of you. you know, so this could be your future, or this could be all this that you that is coming to you, that is in front of you, that you are aware of. You know, both is the same. Try both intention and see how it works for you to just pump this love into the front of you. And whenever it's tight in the heart, just breathe into it and flush it out. If you have to cry, just cry, let it go. Crying is not always pain. Crying means strong emotions. Just strong emotions. It can be love, it can be pain, it can be anger. It just means very, very strong emotions. So smile and pull in and send it to the front. that what is in front of you be blessed and be surcharged with love and be aware love is a current not something to be stored in a whole lot of money but love only functions when you exchange it <laughs> when you take it from one place to the other And 
that way you enable of love and you become a giver of love and you become a receiver of love and enable others to give and whatever you give that love to you will know is that what is in front of us say your future you could imagine a time time in front of you and she just floods with that love and light to cope this tunnel transmute the darkness that you feel just be through it Send that same type of love to the back of your heart. It's probably tight there. And let's ask our spirit guides to clear any armoring from their neck. Let's say armoring that's unnecessary. Amen. <laughs> Just direct this love into the past as if the past is a tunnel, a time tunnel behind you. Pain and resistances. And just send this love from heaven and earth, benevolent energy just down the past. Because once the past is healed, the presence is changed. Saying thing, I forgive, I let go, I forgive, I let go. Let there be love now. Let there be love now in the past, flowing into the future. Ask all the spirit guides, all the way up to souls, to assist us in clearing the path, joining the energy with us. Just give a couple of more into the front again. <laughs> That's all your spirit guides help. And now you keep pumping that love from heaven and earth into your heart. But this time we will send it to the left side of us. And you can consider this the female side, or the subconscious side, or your past too. You know, many people the past is to the left. So let's send us, let us send the love into the past now. And again, I forgive, I'm sorry, please forgive me, let go, I love you. It's a lot of forgiveness. The more you forgive, the more you can be forgiven. Ask for forgiveness, give forgiveness. So you're not attached to karmic cycles. You know? 
That's the important. You know, to forgive does not mean that whatever injustice was done to us was right. It just means you don't want personal revenge. And don't think that you have not done those things yourself in other lifetimes. Yes, and sometimes pain comes up and you forgive and let go and send love. Love is the morphine of life. <laughs> it transmutes the pain. Just let go. But also send this to your female aspect, to your female side, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. You all have this female aspect in you. For most of us, the left side, sending that love into the left side of you. Okay, and now let us switch and let's pull this love from heaven and earth and send it to the right side of our being into the future, the future time channel for many of us. Or you could also say your male side. Mm -hmm. You know, both aspects are good. So let us just send it into a future time channel. And condition it with this love that the highest timeline will manifest for us. The highest. You know, where we um, manifest our highest good. <laughs> and dissolve any darkness and pain that you feel on the right side. And breathe as if you have to die for 50 yards. And we ask for a blessing for our future life from Source. First of all, the love and support of Source. And we ask that we follow the path that we chose in this lifetime. Do not get diverted in unnecessary things. Use our energy in the most effective, efficient way, having the most fun being the most effective, getting to the root cause of things, having a blast. And being a tool of the love and creativity of source and our personal expression of that without distortion, without the artificial distortion. Of course, in a way that is understandable, <laughs> digestible at this time, appropriate. <laughs> you know, and so it is, and so it is, and so it is, aim. I love you. We are connected to your highest self and learn to walk with your highest self in this body 
connected to heaven and earth, residing in your heart. Blazing like the sun. Nourishing and loving everything around you. Uplifting. Connecting back to source. I love you. Namaste.